Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus, and this is episode 46 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio. We are playing Final Factory, the vanilla game, and the only mod we have is the support display, which in this episode is to be playing the most generous supporter of the channel, Natsar, uh, so without a doubt. So, does that mean he's popping up here on rank number 46 as it is now? And that's what we have, what, rank number 46 or episode number 46. So. I have intentions of building this into a mega base, but so far I'm just messing around with the small stuff. There are a couple of ways of doing it. The reason why I can't just break out and build the mega base yet, as a decent one, 15, um, is because I am, I'm kind of, I need to get the space secured, and I can't get the space secured until I have enough. Uh, Let's see how many do we actually have i have here okay we do actually have 29 in this area so i need to expand this further out if we look at this part this is the formation we're going to expand it out and might as well just continue that radars boom that one uh, and i can't do that because it requires robo ports and Radars at both require quite a lot of steel. So what I want to do today is actually take a look at our steel production. And this is also sort of a link towards our mega base setup where the idea is that we will be, I'll be building some items or some concepts such as this that we'll be using in our mega base. So this one's good. The iron is looking good. It's stockpiling here. The one thing I do want is actually maybe getting Oh, well, that's actually going to be an, an issue, isn't it? Because if I replace this with some robot parts, then I don't have the opportunity to bring this past. Also, this is an absolute horrendous mess, and I need to deal with it somehow. One of the key points, I think, is the fact that I don't have anything over here. Well, that's a start hopefully that'll help ease it a bit and here all right so that's the last one all right so we'll get away from this because it looks ugly uh, let's find a nice quiet place that we can build this is all looking great except for the fact that we are not getting enough iron in here and this might be a good place to build let's have a look wow that one is unpowered that's a bit absurd isn't it Got it. Now this location, that's what it... Oh, of course I don't have that. Ah, typical. Let's see if I... And I'm missing iron. I'm just handcrafting one of these rubber ports because I need it at this location. Don't know why, but okay. So, radars. Let's build some radars like this. Uh, nope, not like that. They need to be somewhat next to each other. Do I have it yet? Nope, I don't have it yet. So that should be just a nice start. And we have the rover port because I need the rover port built in a such a way that it actually needs room. Boom, as much room as possible for us to build stuff. And one, two, this. Alright, so. I want to build, do I want to build iron, do I build steel, do, what do I want to build? Let's uh, start by requesting some of the things I absolutely must have. This one up, good. And let's get some power poles. Which is ironic because now I don't need this one anymore. Here and here. That should be enough for us to build. No, I'm not, still not getting any. Why not? Maybe it's simply the matter of... Okay, here they are. Two? Seriously? Okay, here comes the rest. So. I am firmly convinced that I need to build a setup like this. We need one more. 
So this is basically the premise. There are different ways of doing it, but I think this is my way. Now, this is also where it gets a bit dicey because I need to show something. Um, see, let's get one of the steel ones. Boom. What is really a bit frustrating, I find it, and I look at this. Okay, so let me get something here. All right. What if I take the same idea and then just try to place it with underground belts? This one. All right, so do you see what I'm I'm doing here? Again for this. You can see here, if I place this one on that side, it goes on the lower one. If I place it here, it goes on the lower one. So it means that no matter if I place it on a normal belt to the left. Then it goes on the upper one. If I put it on a normal belt or an underground belt to the left, then it goes on the lower side. And you can see at least it's consistent here. So it is rotational symmetric, which is absolutely critical. But that means there is a difference between inputting on, um, on a belt or on an underground belt. You're not just saying it's always outputting when it's outputting to the left, it outputs up or down. You can't say that because it's just not how it works. That is actually something that's going to tease us a bit, I think, for this. So, which means that there will be a difference whether I take the... All right, hold on. The idea here is... The idea is actually a bit different than usual. I'll take this one making iron, this one making steel, and so on. So, either I'll have this one. That could be input, which will then get one two, three, four as input. And then the other one will be output. And this is where I then need to be a bit more careful. And this is absolutely when, okay, I'm just gonna get some, I don't know what, because that'll help me. So you put it out, up. what if I put it here? Yeah. That was a tiller range. Oh, that's excellent. Because now they will, okay, they'll start shooting. So we should expect to get some attacks coming in. Great. Anything else? I think that's actually still what I want to do more. It's no more a tiller range. It's the one that helps us the most right now or actually stopping the research. We also stop the research because 4,000 is a lot. Unfortunately, I can't stop the research, but I can do some random relevant research here. Right. I'm going to take this one and just try to Oh, I'm not getting this. Oh, too bad. That's a shame. I thought actually that would be... Oh, here it comes. Now we just uncheck it. Okay, that was Lamites. Then we just leave the research uh, idle as it is. Like this. Let's see where they go out. I need this to be on the underground. Uh, this there's something wrong here. Ah, yes, very wrong. Haha, -ha. that is obviously well. That, ah, this is what I forget. So you're not outputting here. You're outputting into that one. You're getting in here and you're outputting. So we try again. That's important. Not just make sure that there's nothing residual in here. Try one more time. And I believe they can keep up. Also remember these have to be ding 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 ding. There we go. And there's still something wrong. Oh that one. Haha. <laughs> I'm just not getting it. This one has to go. Okay. It is incredibly difficult for some reason to get it working, but I think we got it now. I think. No, I don't want to take that, but I can just do this one and say, you request 50, they make it 100. 
just want to see how this works. And at point. Oh, that's a rocket launching. There we go. That was, that was a shadow. Anything inbound? Yep, 100 inbound. Excellent. Right, so let me see if this works then. <clears throat> if so, this is working at 9.4 speeds. So when we calculate this, it will... So it's 1 divided by 17... 1 divided by 17.5. That's the normal crafting speed. Then it's 9 times 4 crafting speed. And that it is productivity 20%. So I get each of these will produce 0 0.64 uh, iron, uh, steel per minute. What the hell? Come on, get in there. What do you think I'm up? Oh, hold on. That's actually, I'm interested in looking at them filing up here. Good. So on this one, I'll be inserting on the inbound. So this works great i'm happy kill that they'll find somewhere else to go and that means if i look at this part i'll have a module like this if i kill all of this one is it tileable it is absolutely tileable do i need to... so this one is a great way to make steel it doesn't take much space it does have actually a neat feature here these two here could actually if I need to get the coal across I could use that so we keep this one and we kill it here because might as well and then we go upwards and of course moving up these are working fine-ish. It is the steel that's uh, haunting us. Everything else looks fine. I mean, I'm way overbuilt this one for irrelevant reasons. Now, the one thing I don't like though is the fact that I need to kill. That one as well is a bit annoying. I could make it closer, yes. I think this is reasonable. This is way too close to the edge. Really should be, if at all, stuff like this. Yeah, that's the one. And that means this is the closest reasonable location we could put it. And I this a lot of small things to fix got it and the next that's the water is it connected nope ah. Pretty damn important to get the water connected. There we go. That one is just begging to be smashed. And it can't reach all the way. Okay. Well, that's impractical. That one, that one, don't need it. And then take these rubber ports into that location. So that's buying us some time or some speed here here the oh hold on that one has to continue this one is scaled up a bit copy paste paste that one and we will now take all of this out and this is where we get in trouble because we are killing all of our well all right that's gonna be taking a bit of time to get rid of 
Oh, we also have a lack of stone bricks. We get to stone bricks. Oh, hold on. I'll do that in a more simple way. Oh no, I just killed my blueprint. I just killed the blueprint I wanted. Damn it. Come on. Get rid of all of this crap. I'll just do it this way. Good way, fast way of getting rid of these. And now I've just killed half of my steel production. Unfortunately, I have to rebuild it again here. Now I have to build it that way because I have to. That was annoying because it actually was kind of difficult or to get things right. And somehow it's just completely different working on vertical versus horizontal stuff like this. Just in my opinion, has to be horizontal. There, that's the part. And this is where I have to remember. This is that one, that one, and that one. Get red plants, this one, and this one. This is the outbound, goes here. And the outbounds are, you know, there's no way that outbound has to be anything but there. Is that correct? Yes, that is fine. And modules as well. Let's have a look and see if this is tileable to see if I built it correctly. And I sure as hell hope that I built it. Yeah, it looks tileable and it looks like I built it correctly. Great. So now again, I'll take it out and please don't destroy it again. All right. This is as aggressive as I can place it. And that is pretty damn aggressive. Which of course makes this an absolute stupendous movement. Why oh why did I do it that way? Yep. That one does not belong anywhere, does it? I don't think so. And this is the inbound, so that comes from here and here. Oh, right. And I end up picking up so many of these. Why is this one not being good? This five hundred copy paste 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 about boom there we go all right so that one is working ish all of this goes in here yep. And the coal is, of course, dying. Expected to. There. 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 And that's pretty much as much as I can do it, right? I can... Could do this if I was really into it. That one, that one has to kill. Do that. I can easily get it down here. And... Go, go. Okay, so this one is working, maybe. All it needs is actually some power, which is not going to be that easy any now that I think of it. Nope, that one belongs, and that one certainly does not belong. This one would be up here. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's one taken care of, and then I'll, of course, 
get the other one when I get the other one. This will then be wired up. Is this working? No, it's not. Uh, these are working. Yep. Correct. Do I get any steel out? Yes, I do get some steel. I get all sorts of crap out, that's for sure. Okay, why am I just... Oh, crap. Alright, so something is clearly not working. And I bet you can see it. This one should obviously not go out. One. This one is stockpiling, so it should be like this. Oh, dear. That's... Less than ideal, but okay. <sighs> I'm just going to stand here and pick up all of this crap. And then I'm going to go have to go clean it up somewhere else, which is horrible, but... Got it. All right. You think it works now? These two, 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 two. It works. All right. But we are now having all this leaked in, and I want to check where it's going. Okay, that one. I don't think that one got any because that one has been stopped for a while. Oh, look, actually. Okay, this is red. Good. Next branch is actually not until here. This one doesn't appear to have moved. Where is it going? Uh, robots. No, I haven't picked up any robots in a long time. That one? No, that's also standing still. This one is absolutely for sure a messed up. Yep, it's messed up. Got it. This one maybe? No, it's also... I think that's good. That's good. And the rest is... into these locations. Oops. All right, let's move up and just see how it works. It's of course not fully up and running, but I'll get more. The reason why it's not fully up and running is of course because the... All right, let's build an exact copy of this. All the way up from here, yeah? An exact copy right there. All of it can be placed, that's excellent. This one. That's amazing the fact that it actually fits exactly with where it was located. All right, that's quite nice. Let's build something here. Yep, got it, that one. This one is working except there. All right, and if I then build this one, yeah, then overlap of one. one. Right, so this is good. I will definitely increase it. And now we have the next problem that is our lack of coal. I will stop these. Done, done. It'll just stop by itself. Should be stopping very soon, I guess. No, I'll just help it along like this. Get it somewhere else, maybe into these. Yes, please. And. I need to take this one out. It does take a bit of time. Oh, look, I am actually running out of these. Ad sex it should be expected, I guess. Now we kill this. No, so definitely not that row. Here. 
this and this one definitely. Oh, and that's gonna take a bit of time. Make an exact copy of this one. These are just in the way. I think I want four of these. <clears throat> you're not done yet? Nope, you're not done yet. And there. Considering I have plenty, I have 20,000 iron ore, so let's get that out of the way. And one more, the last one. Got it. It will then involve. No, let's take this blueprint and remove everything here. Except. Boom, got it. And this one will be in here. It is a bit crazy way of doing this. There's room, so come on. Did you did you have to be there? You couldn't have been down there or something. Or up here maybe or something like that. And go. Come on. Yes, it works. Then they will kickstart again. I guess that has bad a massive impact here. No, not really. It's still stockpiling. And we now go all the way down. You can see that's going to be where the next significant portion of my modules will go. But what I also can see is how efficient this factory is. I know it's, I know it's not going to be blue, but I just like having blue belts here. Makes it. No. Oh. Uh. And I leak some coal here. There we go. Some steel on the cobalt. Great. That one. And. Okay. Let's see. The coal is now coming in here. Yes. That was actually, that must be plastic drawing that amount of coal. And there we go. These ones are not powered. Well, problem. Let's have a look at the overview with that overlay. Yeah, there's some part here that isn't covered, but I can fix that. There you go and of course there's an absolute ton of things but at this point it's okay because it will gradually get here how is that 71 and okay so it's everything that's missing but we are if this works i'll get a lot of steel how much steel exactly well let's have a look at this one and just place it take one down be 20 so And this doesn't work. Zero point zero point six. Zero point six four four times twenty. Each column delivers eight point two two times four. That's actually going to be way overscaling. If this would ever work, it would be more than a blue belt. 
Uh, that's kind of maybe a bit ambitious then. You know, that actually makes it quite infeasible to get it because I'm not going to build something that is bigger than a blue belt. I'm going to take three of this because that's getting us one blue belt if at all possible and that would be awesome if we could get that. Get down here. Always, always. I hate that overriding function. It is so annoying. I wish it was just parameter controlled. But alas, we can't do it on mods because that would make this a modded playthrough. Totally not needed, but it's gonna be uh, a big improvement coming in here. Oh, okay, so it, of course it's not fully there, but it's still something. And that is going out. So we have now built a much, much better field production, which hopefully will allow us to take a look at this. Is it running? Okay, well, they're at least working somewhat. Let's have a look at the stockpile here. There's 48 stockpiles, that means we can start being aggressive on the front as well. We're going to take those one, now it's two. Once this is done, we have, well, obviously three. Now this one, I also cleared some paths so I can also expand this one further out. That's the whole idea is that I expand both of them at the same time. And watch how this one's going. Excellent. And now I'm going to expand it to the next one, which will be the last what is my demand and but this is amazing looking at it and what about our total stockpile of yeah iron ore is plummeting radically it's gone down a lot we are going out here how's this one yeah there's still something out here what about this location that one's just done See, that is one, two, then three. Up here we have one, two, and then the next one. I'm definitely getting these. I wonder if they are inbound. How many? We do have 24 still in the location. So once this is placed, I'll take the next one. Which will be interesting to see because it can be really, really close to that location. But artillery, boom. I think this might go very, very wrong, but let's see. At least that one's coming in. Yeah, okay, so we get some, this is at least something. Anything out here? No. Nope. Okay. Oof, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> Come on, give some power. Down here, we are, let's see, that's one, two, three, and then the big one. So that means here we also need a big one. Artillery. Is, it's time for artillery. Boom. Got it. And this is, again, artillery. Come on. Give us some... We have zero available. It's not good. I hope that's because they're inbound here. Otherwise, I'll do that one and I'll do this. Hopefully, they'll just be brought somewhere more useful. All right, we got lasers. Excellent. Now it's protected. That one is anything inbound? Deliver. Okay, everything is delivered. Yes. All right. There. Actually, if this one is... Why are you not able to shoot that one? It should be. Ah, 
Well, you are not. Fine. But you're going to be standing here until these come in. What about down here in the forest, in the dense, dense forest? Something is totally wrong. Uh, okay, it's just because they are just waiting for things to be picked up. Okay, so that's a bit slower. Uh, here. Boom. Yes, we got the boom. Yes, boom. Love it. Absolutely. I am so loving this way of doing it because it's it's very structured and it has a very strict schedule approach. And look how far out we can now go. We're exploring new territory once this one gets... Okay, we're, there we go. Have that one. This is now also getting 20 inbound and there's also a lot. We're getting down here to so this 15. What about here? Okay, that is just smashing away at everything. Very nice. Right. This is uh, basically where it should be ending, but I really like this. And let's have a look at our steel deposit, our steel production in the meantime. Well, I'm going to take all of this out because that's not going to work. I'm also going to take all of this out, as well as all of this. We didn't really need it. And all of this. That means this leaves a lot of... Obviously, I can't take the power poles out because then it'll kill them, f kill the modules for the next one. So that should be better. And I just untap these just for a bit and make sure they go in here where they're actually strictly needed. All right, this looks good, I guess. And now looking at this location, it's getting attacked and that's a bit of an issue here. But I know that we have repair packs and something someone must be inbound for this one must be come on come on Oof. all right that's a big attack can we hold it and even if this one dies then well come on shoot damn you shoot faster i'm holding my own yes no one died and now we're just needing repair packs here oh that's gonna be troublesome how much do we have? We have 200 hit points. Oh, we have Behemoth Biters. They are a bit more tough. Why are we not getting any repair bots coming in? Repair bots, please. I don't get it. I don't get why we're not getting repair bots in. Can repair it. Very strange. Right, and that's a massive, massive attack coming in here. What about down this location? Oh yeah, it's also working and it's totally hidden away in the middle of the forest, so no one can do anything about it. All right, so what we've done now is we have significantly improved our steel production. Plus, whoa, and I don't understand why we're not getting repairs. I'm gonna look into that. Well, we're gonna get a new one here that sucks because I'd much rather have repairs than this. I mean, I can look in this area there's not a single one that is expected to do or intention to do in repairs. If I look at the very first one here in this list, that one has 368. So damn it, just get out there and do some repairs. Usually works though. I don't know why it doesn't anymore. Is that because there are too many robotic commands here? There was something out here being repaired. Maybe it's just like one, one of them is dedicated to repairs. Okay, so they are now placed. Let's see. I'll, I'll just wait. We'll see that next time. As you can see, we now uncovered a 16 million deposit of uranium. Not exactly exciting, but something nonetheless. And that one is getting closer. So you can see this is... I, I love this way of expanding. It's very safe. It's very easy. And in the meantime, our steel is doing quite well. Not as well as we'd like, but, you know, what's this one? Wait for, you're also waiting for batteries now. Well, that's a matter for a different day. Let's zoom out. Move these things so we can... Uh, actually, this is nice to see. All right, it's still just clearing space out there. Cool. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you're enjoying this way of playing the game and that we are now sort of building designs that we'll use in the future for the big base, but we are also just uh, working on clearing more, more areas so we can start getting out and building some trains and all that good stuff. Anyway... Thanks for joining. See you next time. Bye.